The virtual reality show merch is here. And for a limited time only, it's 20% off your order for Black Friday shoppers. Rep your favorite virtual girl in objective reality and DM me your receipt to get a virtual version for your avatar. Post your pics using the hashtag FIA merch for a chance to be featured in future episodes of the virtual reality show. See you in the virtual world. Hey guys, it's Fia and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are going to be importing a uh, Vroid file into VR chat, but it's going to be specifically made for Quest. Now, just to be transparent here, your model is going to look like crap. It <laughs> is not made for Quest. Um, and what we're going to do is kind of a jinky method to get it in for Quest. Um, so please don't expect like very good results here for this method. I'm sure that there's way better ways out there where people who are way better at Blender and Unity than me could probably figure out, but this is the best method that I have found uh, through tutorial videos and looking things up. So I'm just gonna show you uh, exactly what I do for that. So you'll notice that my FIA model here actually looks a little bit different than normal. So I'm gonna take us over to the face editor and we're gonna check out the textures. So what you'll notice is that I've actually hid all of the layers on the eyelashes on the eye line and the eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens if I color one of these all the way in. All right, so as you can see, when I color it in, you'll see the entire mesh for each one of these actually protrudes uh, pretty far out. And what happens is that because of the transparency, all of this ends up getting hidden and you only see the um, eyelash or the eyebrow or the eyeline texture behind it. So the problem that happens for Quest is that these actually will show because you cannot use transparency um, for Quest avatars. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And the secret to fixing that is that you can actually go onto the face skin here and you can literally draw on uh, eyebrows and eyeline, um, eyelashes if you want. And that is how you basically fake it. The next trick for optimization is to go to your hair editor. And you're also gonna wanna make sure that you hide your base hair so that that, cause that is also a transparent mesh. Um, so underneath, I always take my hair and actually fold it around the side so that you can't see the scalp anyways. But you're going to want that to either be hidden or you just want to get rid of it completely. I recommend getting rid of it completely. Then if you go to bones, you want to make sure that you have zero bones on this entire head. So I went ahead and undid all of my bones because those aren't going to transfer to VRChat anyways. So to save optimization, um, you know, you're just going to get rid of that completely. So now we're going to go ahead and export the model. So if you take a look up here, this is going to give us all of our export information. So mesh reduction, uh, this is very, very important to getting your avatar optimized. So I'm going to go ahead and modify here cross section. And that is going to drop a whole bunch of my triangles here, as you can see. And what that did is it just made all of my hairs flat rather than having um, extra dimension to them. So it might take some kind of practice to make sure that your hair looks good. Um, without the cross sections, but uh, it helps a lot. And the other thing we're gonna hit is erase transparent meshes. So remember when I showed you the filled in eyelashes? So all of those are the transparent meshes that we hid and we said bye bye to, this is going to erase them completely. It's gonna get rid of them. And we definitely 100% need that because otherwise they're gonna show up black in Unity and you're just gonna see these giant uh, black like things that are just protruding out of her face and we definitely do not want that so i'm gonna go ahead and click that then then you can do some hair smoothness and uh reduce the hair the face the body and the clothing so this is gonna take just some messing around um do as much as you can without making your model look like crap now material reduction is pretty important too so we're gonna change the material count to two and that is gonna drop us down and that is gonna help make us a lot more optimized. Then a small thing you can do to also optimize more is go ahead and reduce that Atlas resolution over to the two, uh, 2048. Next, you're gonna wanna open up your Unity Hub and create a new project in Unity 2018.4.20F. Now we're gonna follow a similar method as my last tutorial video where we're basically gonna import the VRM model and convert it for VR chat um, on top of having the SDK3 already installed. 
All right, so now I have the SDK installed and I have the VRM converter installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to VRM, uni VRM, and then import my model. Now we're gonna click on the model. We're gonna come up to VRM again and then duplicate and convert for VR chat. And then we can go ahead and click this uh, for quest, duplicate and convert. Now we have our model in the hierarchy. And now we're going to add specific shaders to make it quest compatible because the VRM ones here are not quest compatible. So open your model in the hierarchy, then click on body. So click the shader, do VR chat, mobile, which means quest. And then um, I've seen people do the tunelet, standard, and mat cap. So I'm just going to go for tunelet. And it looks pretty ugly, but this is the way it's going to be. <laughs> now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you what's messed up on this model. So the first problem we have is uh, the culling. Uh, the back of the hair is see-through. So you can only see it from the outside, but if you look through the inside, it disappears. <laughs> and then we've also got these uh, nice black lines around the eyeballs and the eye shine. Unfortunately, unless you make your eye literally as big as the mesh itself, it's just going to be stuck looking, uh, looking a little demonic, and that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add our avatar descriptor. So go ahead and hit add component, avatar descriptor, and we're going to get this little uh, box here, and we're just going to place it next to Fia's head. All right, so now we have our avatar descriptor ready to go, and the last thing you're going to want to do is come to file and then build settings, and you're going to want to make sure that you're on uh, Android here. So if you don't have this option to switch your platform to Android, uh, you have two options. There's going to be an option right here where you can um, download it. You're not going to have any of this, and it'll say download, and you can just download the option there. Uh, otherwise, if that doesn't work for you, which it did not work for me when I tried to do this, you can open up Unity Hub and then download 2018.4.20, um, directly from the Unity Hub um, on the website. And when you do it on the Hub, you'll open up an option where it says Add Modules, and you can literally just install the uh, Android SDK along with installing Unity. But assuming that you have that installed and all ready to go, you can go ahead and hit Switch Platform. All right, and now we can go ahead and upload the model. So I'm gonna hit VRChat SDK, show Control Panel, and once you've logged into your account, you can come over to the builder here and then auto fix. And then you can um, check your performance and everything here and then build and publish for Android. All right, and now we can name our model and upload it. And now the last thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that it's also compatible with PC. So make sure you press this button again so that it says build and publish for Windows and literally do the exact same thing and it'll upload um, the same avatar and then combine it with your other avatar so that it's compatible with both PC and with Quest. All right, so now we can take a look and see how the model looks inside of VRChat. Um, so obviously things look a little bit janky. Uh, like I said, kind of looks like your model has to pee. Um, if you get up close, you can see the shaders with that culling problem. You can see the weird thing in the eyeballs. Uh, but it does work and, uh, you know, PC players should be able to see you as well, which is definitely a plus. Um, and yeah, everything should be working fine on that end. Thanks guys so much for watching this tutorial video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, consider liking, subscribing to the channel and commenting down below. And if you want to continue supporting my channel, make sure to check out my Patreon with all the cool rewards that I have. It would really mean a lot to me and is what helps me keep making videos just like this. Anyways, I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Dutech, Flukule, Private Donuts, Scoremaller, and Top Waffle.